Testing. And here we go, Nolsey. How are you, Luke? Good, mate. And away we go here at Web Reserve. We've got uh, Green Acres and Glenunga at the big Division 5 game. Green Acres had a forfeit in the B grade straight away. Glenunga going forward. A quick snap on goal, and that's gone out of bounds on the full, mate. Down in the uh, right foot forward pocket. Glenunga away very early there, Luke. Uh, got the clearance early and uh, moved the ball forward nicely. Um, the kick out from the back pocket, long down the line. Oh, big mark by Big Wonky from North Adelaide. Beautiful grab. He's going to send the ball right back into the forward line from whence it come. Quick. Oh, good mark there from the Green Acres defender. Yeah, Muhammad He's, Dolly there. He goes uh, switches it out to the fat side. And something to, you know something about, mate? Yes, yeah, certainly. Right out to uh, Joe Clark Rantassa. Crystal clear, boys, and we're on the air here and here at Web Oval. Beautiful Web Oval. Thanks to Glenunga for having us and um, have a good call, gentlemen. As the ball's on the far wing, right the furthest point it could be from us, Knowles, and we're going to have a ball in. Welcome to the broadcast for the first time, the man, the myth, the legend, Wayne Knowles. Thank you, Tommy. Great to be here on this lovely day out here at Web Oval. Yes. Hose. I'm just... Doing a few technical checks, mate, that's all. Yeah, there Glen is a little. Glenunga moving forward. Oh, and big hip and shoulder there by the big fellow there. Anyway, as we soldier on, gentlemen. Just a few little uh, hiccups here with the... Uh, Microphones. Yep. Beautiful. All working well. Hopefully you can hear us around the ground on 88.4 as well. So we've got the antenna working today. Bit of feedback through uh, our headphones though. Tips, uh, tips, gentlemen, for the day. Just quickly as the ball goes forward here for Glenunga. Glenunga by about 15 or 20 goals. Wow, we. Yeah, yeah, I'd, pretty one-sided affair as well, Nolsey. I'd say, yeah, Glenunga by 15 plus, mate. Fair enough. 25 metre penalty. You can hear... Uh, Brian Lee's uh, saying get him off straight away. So that's, um, yeah, very good coaching. Ball out of the back there by Dolly down the line. Oh, great tackle. Far side of the ground. Bo Skellington about to make his way onto the ground for the first time. Of course, a little information about Bo. He's ex Seaton, B grade vice captain. They call him the junkyard dog, don't they, Bo? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like getting involved in the change bench. Ball on the outer side wing here. Should win here through Reed. Reed drops what he should have taken. Kicks one out the air. Umpire might say that's in dangerous. They call you courageous, Andy Reed, but that's not courageous at all as Greenacres should come through the centre. And they do. True centre half forward position now. They fly. Bow's in the way. Never <laughs> mind. All good. As the ball spills, Greenacres trying to push forward. Could they draw first blood? Running into goal. Quick handball forward pocket. Not sure who the Greenacres players are. Number 13 for Greenacres. Who's that, mate? Um, that is uh, Aaron Asmar. He's been good this year, been the best players a few times. Quick kick, but well mopped up there by Kimmy Edwards, the ex-North uh, will star. Out to Andy Reid. Not wearing the top knot today. He'll look for Spencer Prowse, will he? No, he doesn't. He takes a bounce, runs, carries, clears the line to big fishy wonky. Oh, Stark with the good uh, intercept there and uh, follows up with a bit of solid work. Yeah, good intercept there from Stark. Got his uh, hand in the way as uh, Wonky didn't go to meet the footy. He waited for the footy and Stark come through with a a good defensive action. Throw up again, just in front of us again. Half forward line for Glenunga. Glenunga take away a quick handball. Away. House kicks the ball forward. That's a free kick. Yep, Glenunga pushed in the back there. So it's a free kick to number three. From, Kyle Maniotis, mate. Is it? Yeah, yeah, Kyle Maniotis, yep. Easy free kick there for the umpire. Kick out of side. Not a great kick. Ball going back into the uh, forward line again. Glenunga with a lot of entries, but not going far at the moment. Getting chopped off at every line. Ball comes out, out of sight again. Big Wonky gets the ball. This should have been a push in the back. Glenunga again. 
Going through the middle of the ground. Beautiful chip kick. Out through the centre half forward position. Number 11 from... Sammy Brian. Abel, mate. Sammy Abel's got onto it. He's flicked a handball over there to uh, Guy Ward. Ward comes back in board there. Kick doesn't meet the, meet the uh, target, but he said he steadies and has a shot on goal. And Glen Unger get there first for the day. First, that was number three for Glen Unger, mate. Number three, which is uh, Guy Ward, mate. Okay, well, Guy Ward yep. kicks the first. So on the South Wales Demons scoreboard, it is Glen Unger one goal to Green Acres, no score. Interchanges are uh, happening here quickly. Ball back in the centre of the oval. What do you make of the first couple of minutes, Nolsey? Oh, it's not too bad, Luke. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest with you, mate, trying to uh, get my head all around this uh, technical stuff that you got going on. But um... All a little bit scrappy so far. It's uh, been a little bit hard to call, but ball up in the middle again and big wonky up in the, in the ruck. Ball comes Jimmy down. Jimmy Edwards off the back flank there. He's uh, run over the front of it. That's Spencer Prowse again, I think, with the footy, isn't it? Yes, the man they call Fresh for his recent addition to Fresh FM. He goes to the half forward area, cutting in nicely. That's Mickey McMahon, is it? It is, yes. It is Mickey McMahon. He'll be very dangerous today, former North Adelaide footballer. Comes good in, board, hits up his good mate there. Guy uh, Ward. Yeah, Guy Ward. Well, you're on fire here early here, Nolsey. Coming through loud and clear on mixer as they go to full forward. Fishy Wonky. No, that's Nicky Wonky. Spills what he should have taken. Green Acres should clear. Oh, left-footed disco biscuit goes to no one in particular. <laughs> it's as far hard down back for Green Acres, and I think he's won a free kick. Someone's won a free kick, says yeah, umpire strikes. Asfaha. It is yep. Asfaha. Aaron Asfaha. Been very good for the Dragons this year. Yes. He's been the best players regularly. He goes to he goes to the halfback flank position. Oh, good speed by his Farhar on the outer side. Kick relieving kick to cross the half forward line. Tap. Very, very difficult to pick up numbers from here. Harder to pick than a broken nose, Luke. Green Acres, uh, pardon me, Glenugger coming through halfback now with a chain of handballs. Kimmy Edwards, he's a good user of the ball. Comes in, but is it Kimmy Edwards? Guy Ward, pardon me. He looks for... He looks for the big fella in Sammy, Sammy Abel. Abel. Sammy yep. Abel swings onto the right, goes to full forward, contest, ball spills. It's all Green Acres at the foot of the ball. Coughed up a quick handball. Bit of a panic handball there, Wayne Knowles. Yeah, it was there. Mickey McMahon there, strong at the contest yet again. Oh, that's a bad mistake there by Green Acres. Trying to switch out the fat side. Didn't get it. And uh, a good mark there taken by... Uh, Harry Prosser. Harry Prosser, yes, sorry. Harry Prosser's one of these dangerous footballers. If he gets up and about early, he's very hard to stop. We saw him kick six against Rosewater, and I expect I expect him to put this on the Glenunga International High School roof straight through the high diddle do. He's a beautiful kick of the football. Wouldn't you know it? Yep. I think he's got it. Yes, he has. Straight oh. through. We've got a special kind of goal umpire here today. That's I've not. I, I know you tried to draw my attention to him earlier on, boys, but that is an interesting human being. <laughs> yeah, it's all clear. Well done. One goal to um, our friend Harry Prosser. Yep. Of course, he's an ex Mercedes High School student. Harry Prosser kicks six, as we said. Um, he's the real go-to goal kicker. They call him Big Pross. And uh, if he has a day out today, well, you'd expect Lenunga to win and win well. That's unbelievable. That goal, that goal umpire. That's. Um, it's that's good to see nice. a goal umpire dressed in the old traditional uh, '80s kind of stuff these days. Yeah, it's. It's um, entertaining. I don't want to speak out of turn, but I'm just going to put it out there. I think he marches to the beat of a different drummer, that lad. <laughs> yeah, it's big Starkey from uh, yep. Green Acres. Wonky wins the tap, but it's Green Acres at the foot of the ball. Jack Mao with the clearance. Who? Jack Mao. <laughs> Mao. <laughs> so he plays on ball, Jack Mao. Jack Mao. Uh, Andy Reid. Looking much better without the ridiculous top knot in. He'll go to Truce and R4. Beautiful Good kick. kick. Oh, Prosser goes with the that one hand he could have used two, and Green Acres should clear. Good pressure from behind, though. Good tackle, and the umpire says, I'll have it, thanks. We'll have a ball up 45 metres out from the uh, high school end, which, yep. is, which is, of course, the... Well, that'd be South, wouldn't it? Yep. The Australian Gas Network's in. Ball spills. Andy Reid at the foot of the ball has a quick snap. He likes it. He's high-fiving blokes, ladies, children everywhere. <laughs> Straight through the high diddle-diddle. It's Andy Reid's first, and it's Glenunga's third the score where's the scoreboard straight over there over mate there. three goals 18 points to uh green acres yet to score could have got an upgrade on the scoreboard when they built the new rooms but anyway that goal up by certainly is entertaining that's uh that's the most fun i've seen at the footage in ages it's 
still waiting for the ball to come back. Yeah, so uh, gentlemen, it's a one-sided affair at this stage. Um, who's the big ruckman? We haven't got him. Uh, we haven't. You haven't got him in number twenty-four. Big Starkey. Big Starkey, is it? Brenton Starkey for, uh, missing, mate. for Green Acres, and he's up against Big Wonky. Yeah, he's up against young Nick Wonky, the nineteen-year-old former Paynham North Union footballer. No cane corns today. No, no, which is a shock. Oh, Reed oh, again Reed off half-back. Half He's bought his own ball today. Courageous Andy Reid goes bang from 45. Could kick a bit straighter. Yes, and just the one behind. That was a set play too, the way he come running off that uh, off that back line there. But we saw it against Rose, didn't we, Hose? They look most dangerous when the, Reed, the ball's in Reedy's hand. He sets up play from half-back, and he's just so creative, so quick. Yeah. Breaks the lines beautifully. Yeah, absolute set play. That It's um, obviously well rehearsed at training. Green Acres looking to bring the ball back. Finding it hard to get the ball out of their defensive half. Look for Big Starkey. Goes up. Makes a good contest. Jeez, quick little handball there from Matthew Carver, I think it is. Asfaha pushing the ball. Hanging on. Free yeah. kick. You get the free kick there, Asfaha. And play it on advantage. That's Cole Mantonis. Looks for and Ooh. finds. This is Greenacre's first chance to score. Jared Clark. 55 metres out. Tessa. Clark ran Tessa. He's a um, heavy set lad. I didn't, I didn't realize. Yeah, there's Jared and Jamie. Jamie's number seven. Jared's number 17, eh, mate. Former Brahma Lodge boy. Former Brahma Lodge Premiership players. The pair Played of them. At, uh, Jeps Cross as well, I think. He'll line up 50 metres out, trying to put it through the Ray White Real Estate Northern Goals. Tough kick from there. He is a good kicker of the football, but he's hung it out right. No score, it looks like, and ball spills out of play. We'll have a ball in five metres around from the Glenunga goal. Well, they're kicking, of course, to the northern end, the Ray White real estate end. We've got Glenunga going to the southern end or high school end, the Australian Gas Networks. Australian Gas Networks keeping you warm in winter and doing very Ooh. little in summer. And I reckon there's probably a two-goal breeze here today, actually, to be honest with you, boys. Feels like it's going straight across, though, Nolsey. No, oh, I think it's going to the high school end. No, I think it's going to the tuck shop end there at the high school. Good contest there in the uh, forward line there for Green Acres. We'll Clark ran Tassa down the bottom. Yep. In Jamie, he was uh, down there fighting for the football. 30 metres out directly in front as uh, Link Bennett's about yeah, to go Link on. Link Bennett yeah. just performs a few calisthenics yeah. in front of us. Yep. Check, let's just check out the data and um, <laughs> we move on. It looks like we're going to have a third ball up. There's going to be 25 players around the ball here and um, it's a bit of a scrap. And we've got uh, Green Acres. Looks like they're sitting one back behind the ball. Um, but apart from that, it's man on man all over the all over the shop. And the, uh, the ground's not in too bad a condition for this time of year, too, here at Glenunga. It normally gets chopped up, but, um, yeah, looking rather good. Yep. Haven't had any rain yet this year, really, have we? <laughs> what did we have the last week, Luke? Oh, we, we haven't had a lot, though, to make the grounds bo wet and boggy, though, have we? I think... Uh, Other than Flinders Park. Yeah, come on, mate. There's a few grounds that are a bit chopped up. Third man up there, that was... Um, that might have been uh, Sam Venning, and the umpire said, what has the umpire said? He's, got, free kick. he's given the free kick away, yep. Free kick to Glenlingan for third man up. I think you're allowed to go third man up. We're allowed to go third man up. Rowan uh, MacArthur, it looks like, out there. He's got the free kick. He's going to have a shot. And Spencer Prowse comes back on through his rotation again off the bench. Hey, that's not... And that's the point. Sorry, a few little technical... Uh, no, we're right. We're right. Keep going, boys. We're going. Soldier on. Oh, very good. Rotations. rotations. Yeah, Ward's just come off from his, uh, through his rotation. It's, uh, they're rotating quite heavily, Glenunga, here at the moment. Straight down the middle of the ground. Quick That's as well. Kick. That's a good kick and a good grab. And good pressure by Asfaha. He's got him there. He's held him up. When everything was stacked against him there, he's done a real good job. Ball up, middle of the ground again, Nolsey. Certainly is. Big Starkey up against Wonky. Ball going nowhere. We're going to have a secondary, we, yeah. secondary ball up. Yeah, another ball up there, right in the centre of the ground. Take right. it away, Wayne. And uh, Starkey with the uh, hand but defensively out to Glen Glenunga. They get the clearance straight up forward there to... Uh, Harry Crosser. Crosser again, he's taken a mark on his chest about 35 metres out from goal. Nearly, oh, you can nearly say he's straight in front. He's on a very slight angle. So Prosser will line up again for his second. We saw him the other week kick six in the in the first half against Rosewater. So uh, he's a first half uh, specialist. Could be having a day out again today, I reckon, Luke. 
Yeah, with McMahon up there as well, they've got a, a, a dual... Deliberate approach. He kicks it. The umpire doesn't do much work at all, apart from oh. some sort of one leg. Oh. I'm glad dance. that they've got this on video, actually. Harry Prost has kicked his second, and it's Glenunga. Four straight goals. 4-1. Four, so four goals, one. Greenacres, just the one point on the South Weller Demons Football Club scoreboard. The runner just takes three steps on the ground and yells a message. <laughs> Should be called the yellow, not the runner. <laughs> Adding to the uh, the debate that's around at the moment, that runners should be phased out of the game, which I think is absolute nonsense. Ball up here, Wonky jumps up. He's up and down before the ball gets there, and Greenacres win the tap, but it clears. It was Kimmy Edwards. He goes backwards, looking for Bennett. and finding. Yes. Looking for found Bennett. Liam Bennett, of yep. course, comes in board. This is where they're dangerous. Running Sammy Abel. The middle. Abel goes along. Big pack of players. Ball spills. That's Prosser at ground level. Goes to the left-footed snap. And another. No worries at all. Shades of Tommy Javor in that one. And he's kicked his third in a quarter. Tommy impact. Kick four and then come and talk to me, Harry Prosser. <laughs> I heard you had a day out this morning there, Thomas. It's not all about me, Don't mate. start him. Don't but, start uh, him. Four goals in five minutes. It's a pretty hard thing to do. And, uh, yeah, they do call me Tommy impact for a reason. But here at Webb Oval on the South Wales Demons Football Club scoreboard. It's having a bit of fun. It's Glenunga. Five goals, one thirty-one. Greenacres, just the one point. Couple of changes, couple of rearranges. Coming off for Geordie Schmidt has a spell, along with... Bo Skellington, mate. No, it's number 32. 32, sorry. 32 today is Jesse Hansen. Probably uh, of the Hansen fame. Mm -hmm. Bop. Bop. <laughs> and the gonna... ball up there in the middle, and it's uh, straight away congested, and the umpire will have it again. Secondary ball up, of course. Can I please change my tip? I said 20 goals at 25. Yeah. It's a very one-sided affair early. Greenacres battling in there hard in the contest, but they don't look like they've got a, a lot of structure going forward. Certainly not a lot of pace, and I think um, Glenunga, once they get that spread from a contest, Wayne, they just look too fast, too efficient. And uh, too skillful at the moment. Um, oh, it's a strong tackle there by Dolly, yeah, but he cocked him high across the shoulder. No uh, malice in it at all, but, um, yeah, that'll be uh, Link Bennett there with the ball. Who was it that laid the tackle? Uh, Dolly. Muhammad Dolly, mate. You're probably too young for St. Paul's fame. Remember the groundsman, Mr. Dolly? Anyway, uh, never mind. Uh, Mr. Mr. Trussell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember the old bloke that used to wear the white Terry Tally. We hat. carry on as the ball goes down to the half forward flank for Greenacres. The ball spills off a good spool. So you're going to have a ball in right in front of the South Wales Demons Football Club scoreboard that reads Glenunga by 30 points. Early goings first quarter as Brian Lees just gives a bit of a constructive feedback and a bit of a. A bit of education to the young players, just telling him to spread as they've got a free kick down there. They'll clear now to the true centre wing position, but that's all Greenacres. Player goes for it with one hand. You've got two for a reason, son. Unless, of course, you're Chris Oakley. That was then, Jack Mao. That was Jack Mao. Nice little big shout-out to Chrissy Shades Oakley, of course. The mayor of the bay, they call him. And Greenacres uh, finding oh, it mate. difficult to, to go forward at the moment and uh, just having a... Not a great day with their, uh, also their reserves having to forfeit as well. So just struggling a bit, the Dragons at the moment with their reserves. Uh, Very young fella coming on for his first run. It's Ashley Clark for Greenacres. He looks like he uh, hasn't had his first shave yet. So we wish the young fella all the best as he goes on. Glenunga player drops the mark. Sammy goes Venning. Forward. Sammy Venning pushing, rushing, ball spilling. And again, they're cracking in Greenacres. They're certainly having a go. It's, it's from the spread here. Two handles, chain of handles, three handles. Glenunga, we can't see their numbers. Four handles. That's Guy Ward, is it? He comes to it. No. Ball spills. Got it now. Now they're out. Ward now switches out there to half forward flank. Time out. and space. Out to number 17. <laughs> Tommy, you're missing, you're missing. Into Prosser. And Prosser again. He's going to line up for his fourth early on. I think 17 might be Lockie Tersey, maybe, or have I got him there already? Who's number 17 for you today? I think it's Tersey. Pardon? Oh, I don't know. I think it's Lockie Tersey. Jack Connors makes his way on now. Minus one, known as around the uh, oh, is it? social media. Okay. Prosser, sorry, Adelaide. we've just lost, lost track a little bit there, but was that Harry Prosser that slotted that three? He was not having a shot for goal, was he? Yeah, Harry, Harry Pross has kicked it through from 35 metres out in a slight angle. And it is on the South Wales Demons Football Club scoreboard, Glenunga by six straight goals. As Geordie Schmid just gets into the calisthenics just to our left and in front. Who's number 17, Geordie? It's Tersey. It is Tersey? I don't know, mate. He's got number 17 on him, though. <laughs> don't don't know his teammates, hey? No. 
And there's my fat mate, Phil Robertson, the tra the uh, runner for uh, Green Acres. Ball up, ball spills. Spills down to Sammy Abel. Sammy Clark Rantasset really struggling Ooh. in there, and he's given one away with the fend off. There's the umpire signal, bionic elbow, free kick Lenunga, and it'll be Brant Ellis. He'll come through the middle. Plenty of time and space for... Sammy Venning. Yeah, Venning marks. He's got Reed on the wing. Ready, plenty of time, plenty of space. Oh, he juggles oh, it and drops oh, it. Oh, the Pumas on. Should have taken that. Treated it like his ex-girlfriend, got rid of it real quick. And uh, it's Big Fish Wonky, just taps it straight to a Green Acres player, though. Reedy follows up, though, good tackle. Bit of hustle and bustle. He has. That big news. <laughs> oh, big Courageous news. Andy Reddy has been called today. He's straightened his hair. He's no, no man bun. No, no man, man bun. bun. Good to see. He might be a free kick to Green, Green Acres there. Nothing doing. Ball spills again at the foot of the plague. Lenunga just quicker, aren't they? Number 14. That, of course, is Josh Henke. Henke. Oh, out of, the, out of mid air. Harry Prosser. Prosser. Harry Prosser. He's got Prosser. Five. Kicked his fifth. He can come have a word to me now, Harry Prosser. <laughs> Andy Reid Andy Reid knows he's got great mates here at Glenunga when they're giving him the serve coming through the interchange yeah. bench. Hey? Yeah, they've been setting him up. He, he rang me this morning. He wanted to get into me before they got into him. Didn't quite work out that way, though. And on the South Wales Demons Football Club scoreboard, it is Glenunga. Seven goals, one. Green Acres, just the one solitary point. As Jesse Hansen makes way for, he comes on for Link, Link. Bennett. Very one-sided at the moment, and um, yeah, we can talk it up as much as we want, but um, Green Acres aren't going to win. Mr. Old Captain Obvious there, Luke. Uh, yes, Green Acres gets the clearance and moves it forward into their forward 50. Yet again, no, the pressure of is too strong. Up. You know you're in draft, though, when the dulcet tones of Luke Hosey go, you're not going to win. <laughs> <laughs> ten, ten minutes Back in up the first quarter. Uh, yep. Some money on the bar. Free kick to Glenunga, is it? And 25. Just starting to unravel a little bit of the seams here. And you can see, just look at the Glenunga. This is a real trouble for me. One, two, three, four of them just walking back. Not looking to come back and create the pressure. Look, even, I mean, I played this morning, Wayne. At our level, you, we, we crack at each other if you don't push back a little bit. And, and at least, oh, anyway, carry on. Sorry. That's going to magnify itself as the game goes on, yeah. too. Is Prowse goes in there hard. Gets, uh, oh, Oh, Dolly, Dolly's, uh, Dolly's had the jumper pulled up over his head in uh, in the contest there, and the umpire says, I'll have it. I thought he did the Nicky Winmar there for a minute there. Pulled the jumper up, but no, he's, it was actually pulled up by a Glenunga opponent. And I like the young fellow. He's in there, and he's having a crack, so good on him. As we'll see here, it'll be big Nick Wonky taking on... Uh, Sure, the Glenunga Ruckman here, the Green Eggs Ruckman here. Big Starkey. No, 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 it's, it's MacArthur. Not. It's MacArthur. He's won the free, big Rowan MacArthur. Well done, put his body on the line, and he goes short. Oh, Pushing through and Jack Mao. Jack Mao drops what he should take and applies a follow up tackle. And we're going to have a ball up 55 metres out from the Glenunga goal. Right on the half forward flank. Australian Gas Network's end. Umpires haven't been noticed. Oh, oh, bit, bit of, of ball oh, play. Yep. Free, Free kick. kick. Oh. Really Free kick. silly play by Mitchell Carver there. Is it Carver? Yeah, not, Mitchell Carver. Not the smartest thing to do when the umpire is right there. Not pushed much hit right it, though. The back. No, he pushed him right in the middle of the back when he was walking away, though. And Prosser in position A. Spoils from behind. Good discipline. Ooh. All green acres at the foot of the ball. Coming through is Kef oh, Kef Kalexi. <laughs> but it's Prowse taking the mark on the wing. He should send it deep into attack. He centres the ball. It's all Glenunga right in the centre of the ground. Put the pitching wedge on it, though. Guy, Guy Ward. Yep. Again, plenty of the footy in this Beautiful. first quarter. Chip kick. Runs 350, big fishy wonky, tries to kick one out the air. Ends up looking pretty silly because he has an airy. And Glenunga will clear through the back pocket. Slow oh. play. Unfortunately, not good awareness there from Simon Arnold. Andy Reid uh, has got it on a string. Up. But the ball will be spilled out 65 metres around from the Glenunga goal. On the Australian Gas Network scoreboard, oh. it is Glenunga by seven goals. But they are kicking with the aim oh. of Strong Breeze. Oh, this is starting to be silly Mitchell now. Carver. Yes, that's that's uh, Mitchell Carver again. He's yeah, he's going to another free kick, gonna, and now he's, he's going to spend a bit of time. He's sent off, and you're probably getting this through the effects mic. Umpire's pulling out a card for an elbow, and it is a yellow card. So Ten minutes can be replaced. Yep. <laughs> umpire just carrying on with the conversation. Not sure there's any need for that. You send him off, mate. Well, the umpires aren't even supposed to be walking him off to the interchange and bench anymore. They should be just just saying go, and you don't have to carry on with anything else. We Andy saw Reed that last year. Free kick now. Mm. They seem to be targeting Reed a little bit early on here. I noticed. Um, tried to push him into the triple jump uh, sandpit there before. Yes, of course. Andy was a very good triple jumper himself at Marrickville High School. Can you not hear me, son? I could not hear you, mate. Sorry, mate. You sound like you're sitting in the back seat of the uh, Cadillac. And and Reedy goes backwards. He'll because you know, he'll run past and try and get it back here. He looks for his good mate and finds Guy Ward. Ward will set up now. As the big rackman lumbers up. That's a uh, well big Starkey. Starkey. He's, he's honest, isn't he? Yep. They're he just going to chip it around until they find a hole. That's Nicky Wonky here. They're probably having their way a little bit here. How about a little wave? Nicky Wonky gives us a wave. Now who go long? 
He does go along, straight down the line. Nice looking kick. Looked like it was hands in the back there. And that was a, he looked for Triple M, Mickey McMahon. McMahon got the free kick, the hands in the back there by uh, Jamie Clark Rantata. Yes. Some poor discipline here by uh, Green Acres. Just early. a little bit of frustration, I think. Uh, I think they're, um, they've been trying pretty hard, but, I th you know, when it's stacked up against you, like you said early, Luke, I think it makes it a little bit difficult at times. Yeah, it is. And they're gonna, they just seem to be losing their way a little bit. They come in board, they look for, and they find Geordie Schmidt. Geordie Schmidt, 50 metres out from the Australian Gas Network's goal, weighs up his options. He's looking, looking, always looking. He... Little little driving ball to fall forward, looking for McMahon. Goes over his head, running onto it beautifully, roving it this way, that way. He's caught. Quick handball there. That's oh, Jack, well Josh Hankey. What good happened tackle. there, Wayne? Well done, Muhammad Dolly. Just come in, blindsided him. Good tackle. Tell you, mate. Oh, it's actually Aaron Asfaha. Sorry, I got that wrong. Asfaha now switches the football out to the other side. He's hit uh, hit up uh, Kyle Maniotis. Oh, and by blowing the whistle and a 25 metre. 25 metres for infringing on the mark there. And, Green Acres uh, were playing a full ground press then. Spencer Prowse there, might get a free kick for a... It is Spencer Prowse. The boy from Fresh FM looks for Nick Lucky. Oh. He's hot, but he gets the handball. Good strength, releases the handball back to Prowse on the wing. To the teeth of goals, goes long. It's Dolly in position A, ball spills. Greenacres get the ball. Running through, he stole the Mickey ball. Mickey McMahon. McMahon. All over it. All class. He stole it like you at the old tuck shop with your chocolate donuts. He ran through. <laughs> oh, straight in front of goal. Coming from you. Goes bang. Well, At the Australian Gas Network's end, kicks another one on the South Wales Demons Football Club scoreboard, Luke Hosey. Oh, they're triple teaming uh, Harry I'm going to get the score now, mate. Glenunga, eight goals, one. Green Acres, one point. Carry on. No, triple teaming Prosser and let M McMahon off the leash. He's just standing there with no one on him, so um, an easy goal. It's a pretty uh, potent forward line, and when you're going to, you know, you go to one, the other one's certainly going to get off the leash, that's for sure, because they've got some pretty good talent up there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very strong Division 5 side. We're going to see uh, Big Starkey versus Wonky. The big men fly. Starkey wins the tap. But Glenunga Shark it. Good tackle. Causes a spillage. That's Faha. That's Faha. Sockers it out to the wing. Greenacres might be first to Matty it. Otis. That's Kyle Matty Otis chasing Crawl there. bounce. Really good. Sammy Abel on the left. That's on Luke the right Bennett. foot. No. Gets it back. Sorry. Yep. Got Sammy it wrong. Abel now. now Sammy Abel, Abel now. Forward. Siren goes as they take the mark. It won't be paid. Won't be paid. So at quarter time, it is eight goals, one to Glenunga. Greenacres at one point on the South Wales Demons Football Club scoreboard. Gentlemen, thoughts on the first quarter? Glenunga are uh, uh, all over them very early, mate. Um, credit to Greenacres. They are trying hard, but um, just seems to fall away at half forward there, I think. Yeah, I think we're on track for our first 30-goal game with uh, Cool.